Alright guys, today we are going to be watching Boris How to Squat Like Slav together. I haven't seen this video in about a year. The last time I watched it, I watched it a bunch of times because it was so funny. I'm going to watch it again because my friend was watching my Asian squat videos and told me, hey, you have to watch Boris and you have to watch his How to Squat Like Slav video. And I said, I've seen it, but I'll do a reaction video if you want me to. And he said, you should do it. So I'm doing it. So here we go. Let's watch How to Squat Like Slav. Welcome friends, I am Boris and today I will be showing you how to squat like true Slav. Let's go. Okay. This guy is amazing already. Squatting on the set of a bathtub. Come on. Yes, Boris. Many people they ask me, Boris, show me the way of the slab, teach me to squat like you do. And of course, I'm happy to help. But consider this, my friends. The slab squat is not just about squatting down. No, no, it is about technique. About showing your slab levels. And most of all, ping. Okay, let's just point out the guy has a great teddy bear. And he has really gone out of his way to make sure that there are nice, funny little things all over the place. I love it. Boris, you're awesome. Comfortable wherever you are. If it is on boat, at home playing CSGO, or just hanging out with your Gopnik friends. It is always good time for squat. <laughs> okay, and if you have ever done a deep Asian squat or Slav squat on an escalator, drop a comment. You win extra points. So many people I see trying to do Slav squat, and they do it all wrong. You see this? Correct squatting. But this shit is all wrong. This is what we call the Western Spy Squat. <laughs> okay, I love this concept. The Western Spy Squat is fantastic. So many Westerners unfortunately cannot squat with their heels down. And um, you would get caught by Boris. Bonjour. He would, he would just sniff you out and discover that you are. You are a fraud and you'd be sent to the gulag. You see, no balance whatsoever, as unstable as a stack of thousand blinds. But this way, very stable. You can squat for 10 hours if you want. Heels! Okay, I, I do want to point out, however, in this case, um, squatting on your, on, on your toes and balls of your feet is actually not that unstable. It can actually be a great way to start from to start so you can do something athletic but it's not great for just hanging out he is right heels flat on the ground much more stable for just hanging out and talking but you know sometimes you want to be under the balls of your feet flat with the ground this way you have best comfortable resting position and you are always ready to get back into action if the situation requires squatting on toes it remove your balance and you put extra tension on thighs and calves so remember heels touch ground will slow squat around <laughs> Here we have good quality example of squat session taking place in front of bar on Monday morning. How do I know it's Monday morning? Because sign says we are open. And all the slavs look very refreshed like they are ready for work. But work will wait, because beer needs attention. But point of this image is that one of these slavs is western spy. Did you, did you know? I knew. I knew who it was. Looking at you, Kolya. The legends say that only true slavs are granted the gift of squatting down on full hill. I knew who it was, Kolya, because I've watched this video probably like 15 times at this point. One thing I would point out, just factually, uh, you don't have to be a Slav to be able to squat down on full heels. You could be Asian, you could be African, you could be Hispanic, you could be indigenous, you could be from anywhere, and you should be able to squat down on full heels, otherwise pooping it's a huge problem. Here we have very nice quality squat from fan. See, now this is interesting because this is not really that quality a squat. He's actually using the wall to help him be in a crouch, but like you can tell from his ankle angle and the knee and everything, just how he's wedged into the corner, he's clearly not actually squatting on his own, right? He's using the wall to help himself squat. So I don't know, Boris. Uh, I might be a Western spy. Thank you, Razvan, for proving your slavness. Razvan. Have a Gopnik award. Bartek, Yogin, and this random guy. What is that? 
Good try, but you need still okay, more okay, practice. Okay, good, Rafael, okay. good squad. Mr. God Zeta watching Gop FM doing perfect squad. This That's Gopnik, squad. this guy on moon. That guy is doing a really good squat on the moon, I agree. This cat and this guy from Eastern European... Where do you find a squatting cat picture? My god. In European men's school, good squat for everyone. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, we, need to, we need to go back here. I... Bartek, you... Okay, I mean, this is... I don't, I don't understand why Boris let this one slide. But if you look here, this guy definitely has his heels up so you know I don't know what kind of blackmail he's got on Boris but that was clearly not uh, full heels down if you're still having trouble doing the slav squad by now well shit I have bad news for you but not worry Boris not give up until last try objective of slav squad is not put those first but put all pressure on heels you see, this way you leave hands empty for drinking vodka or peeling potato if you need. Or, I just want to point out, you could also be smoking cigarettes. Uh, you could be eating mochi balls uh, on New Year's. You could be having sake, you know. You could be dipping your injera bread into uh, alicha. Dipping your tortilla chip into salsa. You could, you could be eating, right? You could be doing so many things. You could be having a bowl of pho. You could be eating a hot dog at a park. So many activities! A perfectly balanced slav is a happy slav. Now you should be able to squat like s You know what? Let's... Let, I just want to point something out here. When Boris comes up, you can see his toes lift off the ground. Right there. Boom. Boom. So this is something that I would pay attention to as you're learning how to do your Asian squat or your slav squat. You want to have the option to be able to come up while still keeping your weight in the balls of your feet and more towards the toes. You don't want to be training this movement pattern where you're always having to shift back onto your heels to get up. Because that that isn't how you would be best prepared to get up and go do something. Um, if you need to like get up and run, for example, you want to be able to come up on the balls of your feet and sprint off. You don't want to be stuck on your heels. Being flat-footed when you're trying to be fast is counterproductive. Um, and this is just telling you that the way your muscles fire are just super biased to something that's not, not really that great. And let me just be a little more clear. You want to be able to do both. You don't want to only be able to do one or the other. It's good to have the options. But here, and from watching a bunch of the scenes in this uh, video, it's clear that Boris has some issues uh, coming up and out of the squat. Like he, he has this bias to go real wide, it seems like, a lot of the time. Which to me seems like he's probably got maybe a little bit of, I don't know. Maybe it's just not so comfortable to use his quads. I don't know. I'm just guessing here. I'm just guessing. I don't know Boris. I think Boris is probably a really funny, awesome, amazingly strong guy. Uh, but just guessing about some things here. Squat like Slav, any time, any place. Well, thank you for watching, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this first video of the series of how to be more Slav. I will see you next time, friends. Stay cheeky picky. Amazing. I have no idea what he said at the end. Um, please give me the translation in the comment section down below. The video itself, uh, if you've never seen it, I suggest you just watch it on your own. Don't watch it just with me. It's it's fantastic. Just just sit there and let it play for like 10 minutes. It's so, so good. All right, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for joining me uh, in watching Boris and how to squat like Slav. Remember that... Squatting like a Slav or an Asian or an African or a South American or any sort of anything, Australian, Taiwanese, Hakka, Canadian, First Nations, Alaskan, Ethiopian, Eritrean, Persian, French, German, Russian, whatever. Squatting is just a natural human movement. We should all be able to do it because without the Western British style elevated toilet, we would all be squatting to poo every single day. So remember, deep squat for you means no poo on shoe. And as always, pain sucks, life shouldn't.